Welcome back, Swag Team. It's your boy, the Swagologist, back with another movie review, and today we're doing Detective Pikachu. Now, I saw that today, and I really, really enjoyed it, to be honest with you. I had a lot of fun with it. This movie is starring your boy, Ryan Reynolds, as Pikachu's voice and as Pikachu in the film. I don't think he did it in ca um, motion capture necessarily, but he might have, and he did an excellent job. I really enjoyed it. Pikachu on screen and like Detective Pikachu did an amazing job on world building um, It brings you right into the world of Pokemon in the real world like the the world They're trying to give off and like Rhyme City the city that you see in the um, Trailer where all the Pokemon are walking around. It is just amazing and like all all Inspiring that's uh, it's not necessarily the word I'm looking for but it just it makes you like look around like oh my gosh there's a Pidgeotto oh my gosh there's a Squirtle oh my gosh Charmander oh my gosh you know it's just you see all these Pokemon and you can't get enough of it and I'm pretty sure the more times you see this movie the more different Pokemon you you'll find because it seems like it's one of those where you'd have to pause the screen to find every Pokemon on there and of course you can't do that in a movie theater but it is very very fun very very entertaining on the aspect of the Pokemon themselves. I love the designs of all the Pokemon in this film. They um, are really done it's, um, with really good detail and, and I like the the way they added, like adapted them to the screen with the fur and the hair choices uh, as to where their counterparts look on the, you know, on the small screen and stuff and the anime and everything when you see them. And, but I've loved Pokemon since I was a little boy growing up, going to daycare, always watching the show come on. Loved it. Loved the theme song, of course. Oh my gosh. Greatness there. Um, but yeah, like Pokemon has always been something that like I hold dear because I grew up on it and I just loved the um, original 150, you know, 151 Pokemon with the you know, Indigo League, I loved, loved it, loved it, and it's on Netflix, I watch it from time to time, but yeah, this movie does a great job on world building, a great, and it's excellent on the CGI of the characters, like I said, all the characters look amazing, and like, it does so many great things on my favorite Pokemon, and that's Charizard and Mewtwo, um, as you've seen in the trailer, Mewtwo does pop up in this film. I'm not going to say exactly what he's got going on, but I love Mewtwo. Mewtwo's my favorite character, and I had a blast with this film. Like, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, it has nothing to do with the movie or any of that. I'm just saying Mewtwo's my favorite uh, Pokemon is what I meant to say, not character. But my favorite Pokemon of all time has been Mewtwo. So, love that he's in the film. Charizard is my uh, favorite of the OG evolved, fully evolved forms of the Pokemon and just basically one of my like my second favorite Pokemon of all time is Charizard and I love what they do with him in the film. I love seeing him in the film. But like this Pikachu is just adorable, very cute and like the detail, the level of detail is just it's amazing. So I love I love that. I love the humor that Ryan Reynolds brings to the character. There's a lot of jokes for adults, and then there's jokes that kids will get a kick out of, things that they do that the kids will get a good laugh out of. Matter of fact, there was a little boy that was two seats away from me because it was him and his mom or him and his grandma, one of the two, and he was just laughing it up and enjoying the stuff and all that. So I really am glad. Like, this is really a good movie to bring your kids to. You can bring all your family. It's, it's you know, fair for all walks of life whether you're like super into pokemon or not if you're not super into pokemon i've seen that some people couldn't follow some of the strands of things that were happening with the pokemon like like things were a little too convenient for them because they didn't understand the pokemon's um powers necessarily and they didn't understand how a lot of times like in the show things are convenient because of the power that these pokemon possess but i think they nailed all of that like pokemon's powers 
that you know the Pokemon. They nailed it. It's awesome to see some of these Pokemon movies did on big screen as their Pokemon. They nailed the sizes, the different sizes of Pokemon. So if you see, if, you, if there's a Pokemon on the show that's huge, you're going to see that in this film done at the right size that they are. And it's amazing. Love that. So you're going to get a kick, kick out of that like I did. Um, but yeah, for people like me that grew up with Pokemon, you're going to love this. And for people that... Um, did not grow up with Pokemon. This movie does a really good job on the world building and bringing you into the world and introducing you to these Pokemon. And of course, Pikachu is the cutest thing ever. Um, I mean, he's rivaling Groot now. So definitely be on the lookout for him. Um, I'm talking about Baby Groot, of course. Um, but yeah, Pikachu is awesome. But the other Pokemon are just as cute or... or um, you know, done very well as I've been stating. So definitely give Pikachu, um, Detective Pikachu a look. Um, my swag you grade for Pika, Detective Pikachu will have to be a solid A. I would give it an A plus, but um, it didn't take me over. Like I didn't like love it. Like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't give it an A plus plus or A plus, um, but it was really done well. I actually enjoyed the plot and there was some, a++ stuff going on spoiler territory that I'm not going to go into, but um, overall I would give it a solid A. Um, I really enjoyed it. it. It introduces young viewers to Pokemon that may not have been a Pokemon fan, and then the people that are Pokemon fans will have a good kick out of it. There was kids that are young, way younger than me that were naming out Pokemon, and that was really cool that they you know noticed Pokemon. That are up in the game and i mean the pokemon go people will love this that it just like pokemon go put them on pokemon and people that just played the games will be put on now i'm very curious how the detective pokemon i mean i said detective pokemon i apologize the P detective pikachu corresponds with the video game that it already has there is a video game for detective pikachu so i'm curious how that corresponds and works together because um like i said i really enjoy this they do my favorite Pokemon so well, and I really have a real happiness about that. Like, I'm going to really dive into that when I talk about that in the spoiler review. But um, I really enjoyed Detective Pikachu. Um, I highly recommend it for you and your family, especially if you have kids. And this Mother's Day, um, might as well go see it this Mother's Day or this Mother's Day weekend um, with your children, um, moms, because you'll have a good time with your son or daughter um, seeing this film. So I can't um, recommend it enough, but um, let me know how you feel about Detective Pikachu in the comment section below. Have you seen it? If you have, let me know how you feel about it. No spoilers, of course, in this one, at least in this thread, but I will have another, spo um, I will have a spoiler heavy review coming up um, either next week or um, Monday. So whichever works on my schedule the most. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about it. Are you excited to see it now that I gave you my review? Do you want to see it now more than you did before? Or have you seen it, like I said, and you um, have the same thoughts? Or you have a little bit of disagreements with me? I would love to talk about it in the comment section below. Also, if you're new here and you're trying to join the swag team, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and hit it right here when it pops up on the side. Also, if you want to be the first of the swag team to see a video when it pops up on YouTube, make sure you hit that notification bell. It'll pop up when you subscribe. And anytime I put a video on YouTube, it'll pop up in your notification bar on your cell phone, tablet, computer, whatever. So make sure you do that. Also, we have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an IG. The Facebook is the same as the channel, The Swagologist. But you can also hit me up on Twitter on IG, at Swagologist D. That is at Swagologist D. You hit me up on there. We can talk all things Swag U, all things Swagologist, and all things Detective Pikachu. So definitely do that so we can have some more discussions there, especially when I'm getting prepared for my spoiler review. I'd love to have some conversations with some of y'all that have seen the movie. And um, like I said, go see it. it, it it's good to see you, especially if you haven't, um, especially if you've already seen Endgame. Might as well go see Detective Pikachu. Then you can go back and see Endgame again because I love Endgame. I'll see it again with you. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely check out Detective Pikachu. It was very, very fun. I really enjoyed it. Had a good time with it. Um, I think the more I see it, the more I'll like it even more. Especially with my favorite Pokemon, Mewtwo and Charizard being in the film. I really enjoy them. And I, like I said, I enjoy what they did with them in the film. But um, let me know in the comment section below on all, on all those social media sites. And until the next video, I love you 3000. I'll holla.